Index notation is about writing numbers to powers. For example, 3 to the power 4. There are two key parts to this symbol. The 3 is the base, and the 4 is called the power index or exponent. The power 4 tells us how many times the 3 must be multiplied by itself. In this case, 4 times. And 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 are said to be the factors. If we work this out or evaluate it, we get the answer 81, which is an integer or whole number. To write the following in index form, we look at how many times the number is multiplied by itself. For example, 2 is multiplied by itself 5 times. So the base number is 2 and it's written to the power of 5. In this example, we have 5 times by itself 3 times. So 5 would be the base number and it would be written to the power 3. If we want to evaluate a number in index form, we are really working out how many times the number is multiplied by itself. So for example, 2 squared is just 2 times 2, or 4. If we look at this example, there are several numbers raised to powers. If we wrote this out in full, 2 cubed would be like 2 times 2 times 2. 3 squared would be times 3 times 3, and then this would be times by 5. 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, is 8. 3 squared is 9, times by 5, and if we evaluate this, we get the number 360. To write large numbers in index form, it's often useful to use a factor tree to find the factors first. In this case, we're looking for prime factors, or factors that are prime numbers. So if we take 392, it's even, so it will be divisible by 2. 196 is also even, so keep dividing by 2. Forty nine is divisible by seven, and the only factors of seven are itself and one. So we've found all the prime factors of three hundred and ninety two, that is two times two times two times seven times seven. To write these in index form, firstly we have two times by itself three times, so two cubed and 7 squared. So 392 as a product of prime factors in index form is 2 cubed times 7 squared. Negative numbers can also be written in index form, but we must be careful to consider where the negative is. In this case it's negative 3 times by itself 3 times. So the base is negative 3 but we must use brackets and then raise it to the power of 3. Similarly, negative 11 is times by itself 4 times. So the base is negative 11, but we must have brackets before we raise it to the power of 4. A power outside a bracket applies to everything inside the bracket. In this case, we have 3 times by itself three times, but there's only one negative out the front. So as a power it will be negative, but then it's only three to the power three. No brackets are needed here because the power of three only applies to the three and not the negative. In this case we have 11 times by itself four times, so the base number would be 11, it would be raised to the power of 4, but it's also negative. So one of the most important things to consider when numbers are raised to powers is whether there are brackets. If there are brackets, the power applies to everything inside the bracket. Whereas if there are no brackets, as in this case, 
the power only applies to the number or pronumeral, that is letter, directly before it. So to evaluate minus 2 to the power 4 with no brackets, the power of 4 applies to the 2. So we would write the negative first, and then 2 times by itself 4 times. So the answer is negative 16. In this case, the 4 applies to the negative 2. So it's negative 2 times by itself 4 times. So in this case, we have 4 times 4, or 16.